In a world so filled with doom and gloom, let me start with the good news. Today, models have been consistently trending east, putting a possible out to sea into the equation. My original guesstimation from a couple months ago was that it would stop short of Kudjo Island, 210 miles east, and then head north. Though this would be devastating for the Bahamas, and either way, I think it's going to be devastating for somebody. And Climo says that it is really, really hard to hit Florida from the Atlantic for some reason. And so, this would put, even if it curves, it would put Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and probably like New York and Massachusetts into play. The bad news is, it's at King Tide, we have a solar storm, and I can almost guarantee you at this point that Hurricane Dorian is going to be Category 5. Aircraft Recon has found 112 KT wind surface and a central pressure of 946 millibars. That is a massive pressure drop. This is like bombogenesis for sure. The thing is indeed rapidly intensifying. No double wind speed so an eyewall replacement not taking place. It is a monster that should not be understated, and it will probably bring some devastating impacts to someone. But if it does cross over and make landfall in Florida, I believe it will be record-breakingly catastrophic. That is why for now, my optimism has switched to my initial curve up point, but then that would put this area into play so pretty much everybody in the east coast needs to stay aware because this thing has turned into a major monster and it's like six months from the record-breaking winter hurricane that devastated nebraska so that's why i've been asking all of september i wouldn't be surprised if we see some record-breaking hurricanes and remember this is only the beginning of peak hurricane season. We still got eight weeks to go. But we're watching activity fire up around a bunch of places. But with at least 80 hours until landfall or stall and go north, Hurricane Dorian has maximum room, hot water temperatures, minimal wind shear to turn into a Category 5 monster. And so even if it stalls, like 100 miles off the coast of Florida, like if it goes this way and then just stops, it's probably still going to push quite a bit of water. And depending on how big this thing grows, you're still going to get a lot of rain, though not the 20 or 30 inches Florida would have got all along the coast if this thing makes landfall. And so, I mean, everybody's in play right now. But I'm definitely feeling more optimistic about Florida's chances today than I was 12 hours ago. As your planetary defense commander, I feel the need to point this out. That is Hurricane Dorian. And this is more moisture than I've ever seen coming off of Africa. So this may form our next hurricane, making Dorian look like, look like a wimp in comparison. You see that? That's Dorian. This is going to be all the moisture the next month is going to have to play with for hurricane season. It's going to be a wild, wild, wild hurricane season. I can guarantee you that. If you stare at it too long, it stares back at you. And so, yeah, if you are in the path of this in Florida, I would use your gut intuition best. And like I've said before, if it does look like a direct landfall, especially to Cap 5, I would not risk that. And if you don't have any choice, I will be praying for you every day. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but the HWRF is the one that is supposedly tracked it so far the best. And this is the landfall that the HWRF had predicted. But unless the thing curves completely out to sea, it is going to bring a lot of rainfall and devastating impacts and storm surge to a lot of people. The NAM predicted it getting as far as a 907 millibar 
which would make it a Category 5 asterisk WTF size hurricane. And Anthony Siciliano says, I wouldn't discount it because Wilma got the A82, Gilbert got the 888, 892, so it is in within the realm of possibility. Cranky Weather Guy, the King of Weather Twitter, whose blog I will leave linked for you, shows us some cool stuff. That's what I mentioned. The CIRA snow filter does magical things at sunrise and sunset, and we get to please the snow weenies. And a coastal skirt situation would still bring storm surge. What type of wave size? I don't know. You would still get hit by mega rain bands. I mean, I can't ever remember seeing the Knoll School with such thick, heavy rain on here. I mean, so somebody's going to get hit by a lot of moisture unless we get that miracle curve out to sea. Remember, Irma curved inwards. So even if this went up, there's still a chance it could curve in or go straight up into the NYC. Let me say again, that is a scary amount of moisture. Hurricane Dorian is just the undercard. Look at all that moisture, precipitable water rolling off of Africa. That is a monster unlike anything I've ever seen. And if that is my predicted New York hurricane, oh mama. If you'll notice, we got the big Midwest storm pulse up at the same time we got the Dorian pulse up. And it seems like there's a lot of activity behind it as well. So yeah, Virginia, New Jersey, New York, Boston, New England area. I would be watching this thing just as closely and especially South Carolina, North Carolina. It's beginning to display the look of that March winter hurricane that was over Nebraska. So yeah, I'm expected some record breakers this hurricane season. And so everybody stay aware. The next 24 hours will be extremely important. If it makes landfall in Florida, it would be one of the most catastrophic disasters in history. And then it would just go up the East Coast we will keep trying to pray it out to sea. And I will stay on this like stink on poop because I'm your planetary defense commander and this is my full-time job. Um, thank you to Jacqueline and Janine. Jean, today I got $460 to go on my fundraiser, which I do every single month because this is my full-time job. You can send me a letter. Here's my address. It will be in the information box. Donations accepted through PayPal, Venmo. And, um, I will keep at it, man. It is crazy days indeed. Yeah, Dorian is no joke. Prayer warriors, we need you now more than ever. Okay, everybody, stay cool. God bless you. God bless everyone. And may we all live long together and prosper.